Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John with Sub Sub Sandwiches back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Howard Stern on KFC Popeye's Chicken by the channel Jake888. Yes, go and subscribe. The link will be down below in the description. Very important to support the channels that you love, guys. You're probably going to hear crickets in the background. There's nothing we can do about it. We could go out there and just start punching them left and right, but that doesn't work. Um, this was a suggestion for Rom Granty's nuts. Grant, damn AJ, back at it again with the reactions. Damn right. Um, how you doing, man? You guys can also help support the channel. Click on that link down below in the description if you guys go down through Streamlabs. It's gonna let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video's link title, your email, and let's go ahead and get to that video. But first of all, comment down below: Popeyes or KFC. What do you think? I've only had Popeyes once and I barely tried it. That's true. So I don't, I don't know. know. I'm going to say Popeyes chicken. But then again, KFC is so good. It's like, I've only had Popeyes like three or four times. Well, how, I don't even, I didn't have time to read through the paper extensively. But there's some weird story in the paper how Oprah, on her website, mm -hmm. had a gift certificate of some kind or a special offering for free Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know what? I saw that and I thought it was a goof. You know how sometimes they they use Oprah's name to sell everything? Right. And this time they said, yeah, Oprah at her website is giving away free coupons for... Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. I said, that's got to be another goof. And today I learned it's real. So when people went to Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think this is how the story goes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. That when people went to Kentucky Fried Chicken to get the to redeem their Oprah coupons... I guess Kentucky Fried Chicken wasn't, some of the franchisees were not honoring the tickets, right? Oh, snap. And I think some ran out of chicken. It was a, sort of the Popeye's thing again. They didn't have enough chicken. <laughs> and there was like near rioting. You yeah, well, they said no riots actually broke Those up. Those videos that we watched that were like people oh. going through the drive through with Popeye's chicken. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But things got tense. Yeah, that's my favorite clip. We should play that again. That was so cool. <laughs> Over at Popeye's Chicken, they, they did a similar offering, not through Oprah. And the, the people who went to Popeye's were just irate. It's funny to hear them so mad about yeah. not getting free chicken or reduced price chicken, I think, at Popeye's. Right. It was some kind of special meal. Yeah. You could feed everybody for $5 or something. Hey, J.D., where's that Popeye's thing in case anybody missed it? That shouldn't be missed by anyone. It's a Gary picked one in orange. Thank you. You could feed the whole community for 5 bucks. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Gary Page one in orange. Not my community. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're, you're a hefty guy. Yeah, not $5. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Here we go. Fast food chain Popeyes became a victim of its own advertising today. So many customers lined up for a big special. Some locations, including one in Penfield and the city, ran out of chicken. Tonight, customers were clucking their disapproval. Customers at the drive-thru heard this recorded message. One woman yelled back at the machine. People have kids that they're trying to feed for the special. And you mean to tell me that we can't feed our kids? Because y'all didn't order enough chicken. Y'all knew y'all was having a special almost two months ago. And that's wrong. But no one... It's so funny because can't feed our kids. Is that all you feed them is Popeye's chicken, apparently? Like, you still mm, feed your kids. Yeah. It's going to have to go somewhere else. Oh, my God. We've seen parts of this. Like, not this exact video, but... It is part of it, though. The whole it wasn't, Popeye's thing. It was this clip of this woman, because I remember saying, is this in Minnesota? Because it had Rochester in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. One was listening. The Popeye's on Lake Avenue was closed by dinner time. Are you kidding me? I think that's bad, because I'm sure hungry. No chicken. No chicken? Uh, they just had a chicken. I said, I'm calling customer service now to see where there's another Popeye's at. They always run out of food, sides, whether if it's mac and cheese and gravy, coals, they always run out of something. It's very disappointing. I wanted some chicken today. <laughs> Other locations ran out of chicken, too. The four ninety nine dollars special, too good to pass up. I just left Penfield Popeyes. They were out of chicken there, so I ran through the city to this one, and they're out, too. This is ridiculous. They should have had a stockpile of chicken for this day. Oh. They should have had a tractor tail out back with extra chicken on ice, you know? <laughs> Maybe it was the economy that caused the rush on chicken. how that woman knows exactly what Popeye should be doing. She's pretty good. She should be running a restaurant. Yeah, why isn't she <laughs> having, you know, she must run her own business. They should have had a track a trailer full of chicken. Right chicken, chicken on ice. I think I, what I like about this report so, so much, it makes it so funny, is that young anchor woman who, the, the girl doing the report is so polished, she's like, 
Many of the customers were very dissatisfied <laughs> after learning there would be no more chicken. And then the it guy goes, had the customers clucking. Clucking. <laughs> and then, you, you know, and every word enunciated. And then the woman comes on and goes, we was waiting here for two months for this here chicken. We got to feed our kids. Uh, they don't know about this, uh, this promotion about a month, month ago. <laughs> I, I can't feed my long. kids. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but is this, first of all, is this an onion or is this a real story? Really? I mean, yeah. the woman really can't feed her kids because Popeye's is out of chicken. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Again. At their price in, the, in this day and age, you know, yeah, that is a good deal. Sad in this economy, people are trying to spend money and they don't want it. I was trying to feed my family tonight. Can't get that bucket in now. Customers felt duped. I'm never coming back now. I'm serious. I'm done. They gotta oh, get their stuff back. together. You know, they put their advertisements on and then they don't, don't, don't show up for it. I'm more disappointed than angry. You know, we've been looking forward to this day. They advertising <laughs> on, on national TV. How you gonna run out of chicken? So thought, how do you feel about that whole thing, though? Honestly, I, mean, I don't... Yeah, I'd be upset, but I wouldn't be, like, angered. Well, I, it'd be, like, one of my normal <clears throat> fucking pissy attitudes. I'd be like, well, that's fucking dumb, you know? Like, that's how I am when right. I get mad. But it'd be like that, and then it'd be done with. I'd go somewhere else. Like, I wouldn't even be mad at the place. Like, how the fuck did they know yeah. what to expect? That was a huge sale, like, and they didn't know what they were going to get out of it. Yeah. Same thing with grocery they can't stores. They order too much, you know? Right. I think when something goes on sale and you're saving money, you kind of got to get, like, first in line, like, Black Friday well, shopping. Well, it's while supplies last. So, yeah. I mean, technically, you guys should have known that. If they discounted the TVs down $5 and you get there at, like, you know three o'clock in the afternoon you can't be mad when they're all gone it's just the way it is with the big sale yeah i mean damn they're not supposed to slaughter a bunch of animals beforehand for a chance of them using them and then not using that and and then yeah yeah, i'd be i'd be irritated but i wouldn't be like i'd just be like i'd probably be mad for about two minutes and then i'd be fine yeah and i don't know what i said last time i watched like the that news thing about this maybe i was like more on the side of the people but now like being more i don't know business oriented um i understand it yeah. Have the day. yeah motherfucker she can't believe that a company was mismanaged like that oh <laughs> they do this all the time that's the best line they, they, they do this all the time run out sides they keep going back and popeye did it to them again run out really? mashed potatoes and gravy i was on the road once in the south and i went in my hotel room popeye's is a weird company they get away with like crazy shit i guess because it's so popular the Popeye, I swear to God, this was the Popeye's commercial about like 10 years ago in like Biloxi, Mississippi. Or so. I was down there somewhere. They have the commercial, and the, the, the word Popeye's comes up, and out of the O in Popeye's comes a black guy. And the black guy goes, I love that Popeye's fried chicken. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I thought it was like a sketch or something. <laughs> And I saw the commercial. About is he a cartoon guy? Or no, is it's he, a real guy. It's a real guy. And I saw I saw the commercial about 52 times that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you liked it. They spent a lot of money in advertising. Yeah, well. You Love know. that Popeye's fried chicken. Popeye's came out of nowhere. Was Popeye's originally paying the cartoon Popeye's for the name Popeye? I have no idea. I don't know. That's a good question. Because I don't know yeah, that, that a good Popeye has ever appeared with Popeye's chicken. <laughs> right. Could you uh, ask Lisa G to do a news story on that? Yeah, could you look that up? Dr. Drew says Popeye's will fail. Their next promotion. I'm looking at this Oprah promotion. It's really, I love what they sell. What do they sell? Uh, What is it? It's a two-piece chicken meal with two sides and a biscuit. (laughs) Two-piece chicken meal, two sides and a biscuit. Wow. Can you get two fries if you want, or do you have to get coleslaw and fries? I guess you got to get two different sides, or maybe you can get the same two sides. But I I love the biscuit comes along with it. You well, know, with you know, that Oprah promotion, they did say that, uh, you know, things got a little tense because some people were told, yeah, they get out if they had coupons, coupons, and like 200 people showed up at the KFC damn. with the coupons, you know, like they were overrun with people for wow. this two-piece chicken meal. See, again, when I was stuck at the doctor's office for three hours the other day watching TV, I happened to see this episode. Right. So Oprah comes out, when I was watching it, I couldn't believe it because she kept saying, Free two-piece chicken. I go, this can't be right because Oprah's talking to the whole world. So the big deal about it is is that it's the grilled chicken, Howard. Now, oh, she said you just The grilling it because, of course, you can see Oprah's eating grilled chicken. Yeah. And, um, while and she, it certainly is good for you. But the funniest thing is while Oprah's talking about it, I said, this has to be a goof. 
And they wheeled out this giant, like, dining room table with Kentucky Fried Chicken all over it. They just wheeled it out <laughs> behind her. And then Oprah just sits down. It was like the craziest sort of commercial. She ate the chicken? No, but she no. sat down at the table, and she explained how now it's healthy and it's grilled. Well, it's really weird. Like they said, the racial epithets were flying. Okay, I've seen where they were really? trying to, oh, I bet. yeah, redeem these coupons. Well, who was what calling do you mean? Who, who was calling who? What is right? Uh, racial epithets were being spewed. People who actually wanted to pay for the chicken were facing a potential beatdown wow. <laughs> from the free chicken people. <laughs> well, I free can't have my free chicken. Dangerous. They don't get their free the chicken. You ran screaming from the horde. Wow. <laughs> I, wonder what, I would love to hear what the racial epithets oh, were. I'm free chicken. You. It's two pieces of chicken. I mean, you could feed nobody. You right. mean the people who wanted free chicken were screaming? At the people who wanted to pay. Damn. And the pay people were screaming at the free people. Wow. And the manager just got out of there. Was it, was it uh, N-word type stuff? I would imagine so. Wow. Over chicken. <laughs> Over chicken. What you paying for, nigga? Imagine there's a race riot in this country because of chicken. <laughs> what do you mean you're going to pay for something? <laughs> I want my free chicken. <laughs> what you, do what you mean you're paying for something, Dago? Dago. <laughs> you ain't paying for shit, WAP. Oh, so, <laughs> Fuck you, I'm paying, uh, you goddamn moon cricket. I think the racial epithets were flying. That's what huh? it sounds like. Was that epithets or epithets? It's epithets, I think. Epithets? I don't even know. Because somebody wanted to pay for the chicken. I don't use the word epithets much. Me neither. I don't think I've ever used it. This person says a small riot started going on outside the store with people screaming at the manager. Guys, just, just think about like that. that. Oprah could destroy the world if she wanted to. Over chicken. Over chicken. That is crazy. And it's all about the grilled chicken, which isn't even that good. Does, does anybody actually like the grilled chicken versus the crispy? Well, if we're talking on a sandwich, I would take grilled. Yeah, but I know, but the KFC chicken, if you were going to go there, would you ever order a bucket of grilled chicken, or would you just go straight to the fried, the the, the battered, crispy? I've never had their grilled, but generally probably the crispy. You can't beat that crispy. That's it's so good. It's because it's like the flavor that's inside yeah. of it. Yeah. The only reason I like Popeyes is because it's kind of spicy. And you know I'm a spicy guy. I like spicy stuff. Yeah. But as for flavoring-wise, a normal versus normal, you can't beat KFC chicken. It's just got, like, cocaine built into it or something. There's something and in their crack or whatnot. And cocaine. And that's what he's saying. Oh, man, that chicken. Gotta get me some of that chicken. Like that episode of uh, Paradise PD, remember? Where he's making the chicken and his cat's got, like, hoverboards and stuff. Oh, I told you that reminds me of you. That I was the fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I could totally see you doing that for your cats, hoverboards and like drones and stuff, and like. <laughs> it's true, I would. I don't spend Actually, much money on anything except for my cats, and he looks. There's at, a uh, there's a litter box, and it's five hundred dollars, and it literally like it turns. It's a robot box. It's yeah, you push a button or you use your phone to like whatever, and it turns and it filters out the poop and pee and it puts it into like a compartment in the bottom. And I really want to get it for them. She wanted two, and I'm looking at it like you're crazy. Well, because you're supposed to have one litter box per pet or per cat, and I don't want to. I was just gonna get one right away, you know, just for now and <laughs> see how it goes, and then in the future get another one. I'd shit I, that thing all the time. It's their health, though. That's what I think about it. It's not just me making a stupid investment. It's actually their health because it's very bad for them to be in a dirty litter box like that. Well, yeah, we just clean it more, you know. I know, and I'm horrible with cleaning it. So we have two massive ones instead. Yeah. Anyway, guys, go and subscribe to the channel. That is Jake888. It's very important to support the channels that you love. And peace out, fam. Bye.